Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We're just gonna be spending the day together today. I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything exciting, but I thought it's been a while since we've spent the day at home and filmed it. It's such a beautiful day today. We had no summer at all and now it's autumn. It's just beautiful. So they've had their breakfast because if I'd have come up and started filming without feeding them, I'd have been in big trouble. Wouldn't we, Dill? Let's get these rugs off. I will poo pick the field and then it should be about time to get them in, give them a brush and start riding. <laughs> what are you doing to McAllister? You know what, you're going to eat him. You've got food all over your face. This lump still hasn't gone on his nose. I think that's just going to stay there forever, which is such a shame. But we love you, Mr. Jones, warts and all. You know what time it is. Only the best jobs for me. So glamorous. Living the life. If anyone's actually noticed, I'm now down to three horses. OMG. I did have four. Charlie D is no longer, no longer here. He is, he's alive. I shouldn't have said that really, should I? Should have chosen different words. Charlie's gone back to his owners purely because he just wasn't settling in. I had him for a few months and he just never seemed to adapt to the very relaxed way of doing things that we have here. He was not being friendly to Mr. Jones. He was really beating him up. And there was a little incident where he bit me in the paddock. I didn't want to give up on him, but at the same time I thought, what if he does something and I get injured and I'm here by myself with three other horses? It's just a bit too much of a risk. So we're gonna ride McCallie Alley and I think what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna be a little bit naughty and trespass on the farmer's field because they have all now been cut and there's quite a lot of good cantering to be had. So if I get caught, I'm gonna to have to start crying and apologizing. But otherwise, we're gonna have a jolly good time. Hello. One thing that I have been doing for the last few weeks is when I get them in and I pick their feet out, I then scrub their feet with some Dettol, Dettol water. And then if there's anything, any cuts or anything going on, I spray it with either iodine or purple spray. The reason for why I've started doing this is because Billy, I probably shouldn't admit to this. So Billy has an infection. <laughs> in both of the frogs of his front feet so the poor boy has been uncomfortable when he's been jumping or doing anything and because he's barefoot as well he's not got the added protection of the shoes so now i've adapted my routine and as all of my horses are barefoot they come in they get their feet picked out thank you dylan and then they get a dental scrub and iodine if they have an infection or anything like billy does billy is on the mend it's pretty much healed up I felt so guilty. It's like such a lovely day. We've just got the most enormous field. So I'm going to have a little canter around that. Little canter, big canter. Let me show you this. There we go. All, and it's, of course it's not going to focus. All of the way down there behind these little trees here all along that far line, along the hedge line, and then back. So that's an awful lot of right rein canter, which is what he needs. His left rein is pretty much spot on. The right rein. Good boy. Good boy. He's a very sweaty bear now. And I need to eat something before I ride Mr. Jones because I'm famished. So hungry. <laughs> well that's McAllister done we'll put him back in the field now and then I need to go and get something to eat before I ride the other one I'm just so hungry be free Good boy. 
we're just having a little siesta, a little snack. I put two bananas in it today. Two bananas, look at me. You a tiny little baby. Something's happened to the weather. I think it's gonna rain. What a shock. Not taking any risks this one. First sign of a bit of a breeze. Straight in the field shelter. I'm quite glad I put my cardigan on now. It's a good job we got McAllister done and dusted because he is the one that takes the most work. Mr. Jones just needs ticking over so I won't have to be on him for as long. If it starts to rain, but if the sun comes out then we might as well spend some time in the saddle. Pick his feet out, like so. And I always make sure to get in the frog. And then with my dust of water, just get a hard, hard bristled brush. I was definitely just spotted by a farmer. Well, I heard some voices and I looked over the hedge and there they were on their quad bikes. And I nearly waved, but I thought, I don't want to be too cocky. So I just sort of put my head down and kicked Mr. Jones on so we could get out of their sharpish. But to be honest, I feel like they don't really mind as long as you stick to the edges. Don't get me wrong, some farmers will tell you off. I have been told off in my years for riding across people's land without permission. We're just letting the boy walk before we get to that big field and then it's a whole lot of right rain. They told me they, they told me I wasn't going to get far. So I told them like this, look. My adversaries crumble when we rumble, it's a catastrophe on anybody who trying to hate coming blasting me. I've been in this for a minute, see how I graduated from... Well, that's us done. We're just going to walk home. He went round the field a grand total of two times. He's pretty, pretty fit. Didn't know he had it in him. That's sort of everything that I need to do. So now I think I'm going to clean my tack feed the ponies and then I'll come back out later and do some night feeds but let's clean some tech Who's back? Me, me back. See how I ride. I gotta do my thing. Check one, two on the mic. And when we go, you know there ain't no stopping us, right? Because we party every day just like it's 1999. Watch me lean back. See how I ride. I gotta do my thing. Check one, two on the mic. And when we go, you know there ain't no stopping us, right? Because we party every day just like it's 1999. I put everybody that won any issues in a line. Step them up. I started out battle rapping so I can just flip the script in a minute. A minute to these rhymes. See, that's a whole Look at all this feed. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's to see me through the winter. Well, hopefully, I don't know how far that will last. It's probably gonna take me. I'd hope I at least get to January. With that, will I? September, October, November, December. Ooh, maybe, maybe. I have to bulk buy all of my feed before the winter really sets in because once the ground starts to get wet, no one can get up that track in a vehicle. So my feed deliveries and everything, they just don't happen until the ground hardens up again in like March. Annoying. <laughs> Sorry, Pop It. It's just starting to drizzle now. 
you good boys. Well, that's it. I've done everything that I need to do. That's my day sort of done. I'm just gonna go and have a shower, wash my hair for the last time before it all gets cut off. And I will see you in my next video with very different hair. Probably not that different, but just a bit different. Anyway, bye.